Hey everybody, it's Dr. Lee at Greystone Chiropractic and I wanted to come to you live today because I haven't spoken to you in a long time. And I had a question literally uh, half an hour ago, an hour ago, uh, from a patient who had a really valid question that comes up a lot. And I thought I'd just answer that and talk to you a little bit about your health. But uh, it has to do with x-ray and it has to do with why a lot of times the same areas show up in your adjustment. Why do I always say, hey, it's, it's Atlas today, it's Atlas again, it's your right hip again. It's a repetitive thing. And a lot of times people wonder, well, why won't it just stay in place when you put it there? Well, if you've ever been here in our office, which a lot of you have, and I'm thankful for that, um, at Greystone Chiropractic, I talk a lot about history. I talk a lot about how things develop over time, where you've been. Literally, problems in the spine and nervous system start day one. From the birthing process when you have an athletic event like birth it's the, the the brain and spinal cord are being pulled through a canal and sometimes they get compressed and sometimes there's irritation to the skull as the baby's coming out sometimes there's assistance where the baby's pulled really hard with a c-section or with forceps or with vacuum or suction things like that and even in a natural birth i had uh four kids uh, my wife had naturally so even with a natural birth, you think everything's just totally fine, but when they come out, within a day, I check them and they have a subluxation. What that means, pressure on the spinal cord and nerves based on misalignment of the spine due to many factors, but this factor, for most of us, is something we all have in common. We've all been born, and that is probably the, the most common cause. So why does something keep repeating itself why do i adjust it and it doesn't hold in place and two weeks later we got to adjust it again or a week later it's because it's a pattern that has developed your entire life since day one think about wearing braces would you ever put braces on and two weeks later take them off or two months later take them off if you have a program that's supposed to be about a year and a half or two years would you get any change to the alignment of the teeth if you don't consistently do what it needs and so that's where you know consistency and time really help with these things. But then what's the thing to do after? You're finished wearing braces? Wearing your retainer. That's gonna help keep them, because if you don't, they're just gonna slip back into place. So the body and the spine works very similarly. You get a misalignment uh, from the beginning, or due to all the sports injuries and the, the walking, all the little things that we do in life, landscaping, you name it. Uh, all these little things that we develop over time, stresses and, and uh, sports injuries and, and life, car accidents, things like that. These m m misalignments, subluxations happen and they become our new patterns within two weeks and they alter brain connection. Basically from the organ to brain within two weeks, there is necrosis, meaning death of tissue, cell tissue and reduced connection from organ to brain because there's subluxation in the spine, which is affecting the way these nerves are transmitting information. So why is it that things don't hold in place? Well, you know, you can't be a magician and just say, okay, adjustment, it's done, it's healed, it's never gonna need care again. It's like saying, well, I brushed my teeth once, I'm done. No, you gotta do it regularly because you use them all the time. Well, your spine and nervous system, you're using it all the time, literally 24 seven. And so when you see something like this going on, when the neck should have a nice smooth curve like this, the curve should be this way, but it's going this way. Over time, it actually puts compression right at the brainstem. You see how close those are together? Those are not supposed to be that close together. Ideally, there should be a good space between the backs of all of these vertebrae and, and a nice smooth curve in the neck from this, this position, nice C-shaped curve. And over time, that, that kind of thing is easier to misalign when it's not held in the right position. So why does it keep showing up? Well, because it's not been trained. It hasn't had the consistency and the time to make a change. And then once you do get well, what's the best thing I can do for you? Is keep you well. So once you get well, we want to keep you on a, a wellness plan that keeps you well adjusted. Whether or not you're in pain, whether or not you feel out or feel like you need an adjustment, most of the time, when I get adjusted, I can't always feel what needs to be adjusted or where and when and all that. I know every week I'm gonna go get checked. And when I need an adjustment, I'm gonna get an adjustment. And typically for me, it's every week. For you, it might be every two weeks. We have to find out. So uh, if you have any questions about this, I hope this uh, cleared up some information, but if you have any questions, please message me, contact me. You know how to find me, 205-981. 8090. I'm going to do an update from the new office pretty soon because they're about to start hanging drywall. It's very exciting. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.